Welcome again to the half identification class and here we are going to continue identifying the common remedial agencies that we have in nature and we look the broad spectrum herbs that we find uh, that cuts across the uh, most of the diseases and they can be found almost everywhere in this planet earth. We have to know that God's method alone will bring true success. Still, we have to follow the eight laws of health, of nutrition, proper nutrition, regular exercise, plenty of water, and being in the sun, and uh, uh, being in an open air, breathing fresh air, and rest, having proper rest every day, uh, being um, able to control yourself, taking that which is good for your system and discarding that which is not uh, proper. And trusting in divine power, having peace with God, uh, repenting your sins and asking God for forgiveness and His Spirit to help you walk in His ways of life. I want to, uh, to go to the next one. plant that we have here is dandelion. Dandelion is a very powerful herbal remedy we have in this planet Earth. Um, it is a good source of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, particularly uh, vitamin A and K and potassium. It is widely believed that dandelion's ability to replace potassium loss through diuresis is what makes it an effective diuretic, especially in cases of heart disease. Uh, this is a plan that is used by many people to, uh, to f f for, for culinary purposes as a vegetables and also it has a lot of loaded nutrients in it. The modern research on dandelion, dandelion finds that it has phytochemicals. The dandelion root contains carbohydrates, carotenoids, diterpenes, uh, fatty acids, flavonoids, phenolic acids, phytosterols, polysaccharides, sesquiterpine and lactones, and tri uh, tripenes in addition to vitamins and minerals. Dandelion leaf contains primary phenolic compounds and potassium. That is what makes it to be very useful for your system. You know that in an environment uh, if your system is having a lot of potassium, you cannot develop cysts, you cannot develop the cancer, because cancer cannot grow in an environment that is having uh, potassium. And most people are sick from cancers and cysts uh, because of low potassium in our system. The foods that we eat either depletes the, uh, the potassium buildup or, uh, or uh, lower it, or they don't have it at all. Um, dandelion is anti-inflammatory. It means it removes any swelling within the cells. It helps the cells to clean themselves, to detoxify, alkalize, and regener regenerate themselves. It is anti-angiogenic. It means it stops tumor from growing blood vessels which is one way to impede tumor growth. Uh, now, that is a good factor for you to consider in choosing the herbal remedies that helps with the, uh, with, the, with the cancer. You need something that is going to stop the angiogenesis process, and that is plantain, as we had mentioned before. We have, um, we have, the, we have this one. Uh, we have this have here, uh, the dandelion, the plantain, the milk thistles, and all others that we are going to mention in this series. The angiogenesis process uh, is a process where the cells, the tumors, uh, the cancer cell develop uh, its, its system, the cell system that will help it to, uh, to draw nutrients into it. And you know that for cancer, uh, things like sugar, like fats, uh, and low oxygen is able to make it grow. If you want to uh, to starve cancer, you have to limit any sugar, 
anything that gives a sugar a sugar surge into it and also uh, any fats because uh, fats and oils are just a precursor to sugar they are just sugar stored in in a form of, 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 of fats and uh, we have to increase oxygen supply to the cells for you to starve cancer so dandelion is anti nociceptive it reduces sensitivity to pain it is anti tumor anti profilerant it it means it prevents or retards cell growth it is an antioxidant it is cytotoxic it means it removes toxins from the cells it is antiviral it can kill virus during the coronavirus it was known to uh, if you use it it helps to to lower the spread of the virus uh, because of uh, its anti is inhibiting and viral inhibiting factors it is antiretroviral it is a prebiotic it creates good media medium for your cells uh, for this the life the biotic life in your system the bacteria to thrive well it is antimicrobial it means it can be used as an antibiotic and it has also been found to stimulate the secretion of insulin induce apoptosis which is programmed cell death in dysfunctional cells tumor cells and inhibit lipid and triglycerides accumulation that's why people having diabetes are always having nerve pains and that nerve pain is as a result of the death of the cells dandelion is going to help you to restore and avoid that process and uh, you realize that if someone is having that pain that nerve now neuropathy you can make as uh, a solution a mixture that is going to help with the lowering the pain and that is 10 ml of peppermint oil essential oil 10 ml of eucalyptus or essential oil about 2 tablespoons of uh, menthol crystals about uh, 30 ml of uh, of wa warmed um a uh, warmed olive oil and then you can put about 2 tablespoon of dmso in it and uh, if you have uh, if you have your tincture of plantain and uh, dandelion you can put it in there and then mix it well you rub it on the pit, uh, part that is having neuropathic pain uh, in diabetes and it is able to relieve you also fermentation and massage can help to relieve such uh, neuropathic pains Dandelion leaves act as diuretic. It means it makes you to increase urine flow, increasing the amount of urine in your body. Uh, and then the leaves are used to stimulate the appetite and help digestion. Dandelion flower has, has antioxidant properties, and dandelion may also help improve the immune system. Uh, it can potentially cure cancer. Its mighty root boosts immune system and improves blood. And um, in addition, further studies have shown that the extract is also useful for other cancers such as breast, colon, prostate, liver, and lung cancer. The test of dandelion root is not as pleasant as other teas, but it is certainly more comfortable than undergoing chemotherapy or radiotherapy. If you go for radiotherapy or chemotherapy, uh, it's going to lead to a lot of death cells that will get the body ahead of to uh, to rejuvenate. So you better go on a lifestyle program where you take fresh juices, fresh juices of fruits and vegetables. You take the probiotics. You take the natural vitamins from the dark green leafy vegetables, and also boost your uh, boost your glutathione uh, uh, antioxidant in your system by taking a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, cruciferous vegetables juices and that will be able to help you taking black seed or black seed uh, 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 black seed sunflower oil uh, 
taking uh, uh, seeds like simsim seeds, flax seed, and chia seeds are also helpful in helping your body not to go under uh, cell death. Uh, it is a diabetic herb, and the lion roots and stems help fight diabetes. It's because they stimulate the pancreas to produce insulin, which in turn stabilizes the blood sugar levels. You want to know, uh, you must know that diabetes is a pancreatic if, uh, problem. The pancreas may not be uh, producing enough insulin uh, because of its weakness or the pancreas may be producing insulin but cannot be absorbed into uh, to the cells because of the cholesterol buildup within the, uh, within the uh, receptors. So diabetes will be helping to correct that problem. And during this time when you are using this hub, you have to incorporate exercise, drinking a lot of water, drinking a lot of, uh, of juices, and, and uh, also exercising regularly, breathing fresh air, and it will be able to restore itself. Maintain and repair the digestive system. If you have digestive problem or you need to get rid of toxins, the dandelion tea may be exactly what your doctor prescribes as a herbal remedy. The liver produces bile in the uh, digestive system and also filters blood from chemicals and other impurities. Um, dandelion is a, 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 a chola, a, a we call it a bile, a bile increasing herb. It helps your, your, your bile duct to produce, uh, help the bile to flow into the duodenal uh, walls. It fights infection. These beautiful yellow flowers are also rich in antioxidant and vitamin C, which help the body fight infections, such as bacteria that cause urinary tract infection. However, if you start to drink and learn tea every day, you can defeat this health issue. It improves bowel function. Leaves are bitter, but perfectly edible. The leaves are high in fiber, which helps improve bowel function. In addition, uh, fiber, in addition fiber reduces the risk of obesity. Uh, because it's able to uh, to remove a lot of the cholesterol when you go for a bowel movement. Uh, it relieves the body of excess heat. It helps to lose weight, supports bile secretion, and healthy digestion and fights. Um, constipation may be a useful skin care treatment and reduces cholesterol, lowers blood pressure, support health bonds, helps to treat anemia, support the treatment of chronic, chlor, uh, chronic ulcers, joint stiffness, and tuberculosis. Now, for skin care, you use the powder form of it. You put it in any, any, any nut butter or put it in any carrier oil and you use it uh, to apply on the skin. Well, so that is the use of the, uh, the uses we have for, for this important hub. Remember that this herb singly cannot be able to uh, eliminate most of the chronic cases, but they are helping. They are one of the things that we use alongside the principle of health to make sure that the body is restored. Make sure that you follow the divine health plan alongside the herbs, and then the body is able to regenerate, restore, and alkalize itself. Blessings.